Okay, so you uh, you have this um, ability for people to essentially make sure that the 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 data gets onto the ledger, and there's this payment through, through the the Super Oracle token. Um, I, this answers one of the questions that I sort of had, which is um, oracles often seem to be like they have the tragedy of the commons, mm. right? Like because once that data is on ledger, anyone can use it. But the question is, is who pays for that data to be on Ledger in the first place? Because once it's on Ledger, like if, if, if I'm building a DeFi app and I want the price of Bitcoin in USDC and someone else is paying for that, but it's being reported every 10 minutes to, to Ethereum, then I can just pull that data, right? There, there's, no, there's no way of you going, no, 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 only the people who are paying for it can get it because that's the, uh, the inherent issue of on-ledger data. How do you see that evolving in time? Mm -hmm. Like as it goes from one interested entity for paying for something to many interested entities for paying for that data. Totally, totally get it. A uh, common uh, scenario. Uh, once again, um, only if you're deep into the field do you ask these types of questions. So I want to say, you know, thank you for asking the hard questions. Um, and, and when I mean that, so there's a couple of approaches here. One is, it, it, let's suppose this is a actual uh, pull request. Like I want this information for myself and I paid for it up front. I don't want everyone else to benefit from this. Maybe I do, I don't care. Maybe I don't. We can also encrypt the data with your public key and post it encrypted and only you can decrypt it and read it right so that's one but but a smart contract would not be able to read that right no that's only me who's able to read that so like right. I, as a smart contract mm. i as far as i understand it smart contracts do not have the ability to hold a secret and decrypt something that then can trigger an action in the smart contract without revealing that information to others Right. So there's another approach, which is also, as I mentioned, you get on the access list and this becomes a, you can query the smart contract without gas. Uh, otherwise it's there and you just have to pay the gas, but you'll pay for it. It'll cost more. Now, what's interesting is anyone on this access list, every time we posted it to the chain, anyone on the access list, they have shared the costs of verification and posting it so it's a cheaper like uh, if you have more people on it, it's cheaper for everyone um and also they have access to the data in the smart contract without having to pay gas so yes others could um but they're going to get the data and in, uh they're gonna have to pay pay a bit more it's actually going to be cheaper to just acquire a supra lock it in the smart contract and get onto our access list it'll and it'll end up being cheaper this way so sure um if you want it if you want the, 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 the values more frequently and at a cheaper rate, then you're better off actually just locking up some Supra, posting it on our chain, getting on the access list and getting that data in a gasless manner on the, the destination chain. Um, but yeah, so um, this is kind of one of the scenarios, yeah, um, where, uh, you know, there are, um, you know, the free rider problem, so to speak. It is a little bit prevalent, but, right. uh, you know, if you just need it periodically, and then that's fine. Just get it for free. But if you need it often and your product is based off of this, you're actually better off just, just getting on the access list.